three point alignment, super simple. Um, then we're gonna, don't have Medit. Um, you can get this software, it's free. Go get it, you should get a Medit scanner. I think they're great. But even if you don't, if you already have something else, but you're kind of interested in this free model building software, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it, even if you don't have a Medit scanner. Um, so in the past, like I said, lovely old mesh mixer, this is how much work it used to take me to make a model. So these were like upper and lower scans, and it's just slide after slide. And I think it's like 30, 40 slides. We're gonna we're gonna fly right on through these. We're flipping it inside out. We're refining our borders. Oh, now we have something. Now we got a base. Do the same for the bottom. Um, and that was without even hollowing it. That was a whole nother probably 30 slides. Um, so now when we're looking at doing this, um, you know, it, it, it's shocking how fast it is. And click the model builder icon, and then this is this is model builder. This is how easy it is. Uh, it if you've done your scans in Medit Link, it's automatically going to import them in uh, the Maxilla and Mandible. It knows. Uh, otherwise, you can select it. So first thing we're going to do: select the area for the base. Medit auto selects the teeth only. Uh, again, when we're doing partial dentures, we need um, we need more than just the teeth. That would be perfect for if you're making uh, like aligners, something like that. Um, so I like to use the um, the dot and line tool, kind of drag around, select everything at once. You can use the brush tool, but I'm going to show you where the issue comes with that. Is if you're using the brush tool, the brush tool does not go through the 3D scan. It only covers the areas that you can see. So if you see here, I lost my whole anterior flange because I drew on it from top view and it was not selected. And if you see here, the whole lingual, anywhere there, anywhere there was undercut, it was not selected. So you can use the brush tool, but just heads up if you're gonna do that. I went back over it with the uh, line select and it picks up everything all the way through the model. Um, so then we're gonna set our plane of occlusion, three point alignment, super simple. Um, then we're gonna, basically decide, okay, what do we want this model to look like? So there are a few options on the left there at the bottom for base type. There's like the ortho style model, um, and then there's the open. So if it's a lingual, it'll leave the whole lingual open, or there's kind of a closed that'll make like a full complete circle. Um, so depending on what you want, you know, you can pick uh, different things there. You can adjust the height of the base of the model. Um, if you are gonna make it hollow or not hollow, and I'll show you later, you know, doing it not hollow for a design scenario. Um, how thick do you want it? Do you want vent holes? Are you printing it right to the base? Um, and then do you want a beveled edge so it's easier to clean off that base? Um, so there we go. We have our kind of initial, uh, this is what our models are gonna look like. Again, this is the step where if you're doing crown and bridge, you need to make removable dies. Um, and then the next one, do you wanna have your uh, articulation pins? Um, so again, are you gonna mount this case? Do you have a bite? Do you need a bite? Um, you can add pins, you can remove pins, you can change the size. If it's orange, that means it's not in a proper spot. So you just need to move it a little bit till it goes blue. There we go. Um, again, super simple. And then the final part is, um, you know, putting a name in. So when you're putting the name in, you can pick different fonts, different sizes, whatever you wanna do. Um, the one thing you want to keep in mind, are you embossing it? Or are you engraving it? Uh, big recommendation would be engrave it because if you're 3D printing and it's sticking out, it's uh, it's a bit of a mess. Um, and there we go. There's our models. There's uh, models for our partial dentures all ready to print and ready to go.